Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video here I am going to show you how to capture video using an external camera application available on the device. So we can begin with the new Android Studio project. So here our project is created. <coughs> So if the camera is the necessary part of your application, you have to specify the camera feature inside your manifest file. So use the users feature XML attribute, specify name, specify the feature name. Here it is android.hardware.camera. So if the camera is necessary for the functionality of your app, you have to specify android required into true. So this will restrict your application on device with camera on Google Play Store. Okay, so now we can create the user interface of the application. So first here I modify the root element into a linear layout. Now here I'm going to add two buttons for capture video and for display that video. specify on click method so this button is for capture video now here I place another button for play that video so now we need to implement these two methods inside activity class file so here I implement that two methods okay so now we can start another external application to start video capture. For that here I create some integer variable. I name it as video request. Initialize with one some variables. So now we can create an indent for start an external application. I name it as video intent. Specify the action into media store dot action video capture. So now we have to check if there is any available activity for handle this indent. In that case, we can start another application by using the start activity for result method. First parameter is the indent, second parameter is the request code. Okay. So now we can receive the result inside the on activity result method. So from the indent parameter, uh, first we have to check some condition if request code is our request code and result code is result ok. In that case we can receive the data. So we can receive the data in the form of a URI. So here I create some variables called the video URI. So now you can retrieve the data from the indent parameter. Here it is data. Data dot get data. Okay. So now I'm going to create another activity for display that video, play that video. So here I'm going to create another activity. I name it as video play activity. Now we can create the layout. So here the root element change that one into relative layout. So for play that video, I place a video view. Specify ID for it. Okay, now go to that newly created activity, create some variables for video view. Now we can initialize that variable. Okay, so now we can display that video. So first we have to pass that video URI to the second activity. So from the play video method, uh, first create some indent object target activity is video play activity so now we can pass the URI to the indent so play indent dot put extras specify key for it it is video URI now pass the video URI now we can start that activity okay so now we can receive that data in the target activity so create variables for URI URI dot pass 
now get the extras from the indent uh, get string uh, video URI okay so now we can attach that video URI to the video view so m video view dot set video URI now we can start the video okay so now we can test it so I run the project now capture some video so now here start recording okay now I stop the recording now click OK so now we can play that video and here the video is now playing okay so this is how we capture a video using an available external camera app on the device i hope you understand the concept thank you for watching see you in the next episode